moment, everybody. Hey, how you doing out there? This is Colin Tan from GamesUnderPressure.com, home of reviews, news, previews, and of course, the Pressure Cast, our weekly video game podcast that posts every single Monday on Stitcher and iTunes, and of course, GamesUnderPressure.com. And I am here with your first hour of X Blaze Code Embryo, which of course is the visual novel based on the uh, Blaze Blue series of fighting games, which, hey, I didn't know had a story. So, shame on me. Uh, as you can see from the cover here, there is a lot of anime. <clears throat> okay. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, the last visual novel I checked out was uh, the Stories of the Shin Shingumi, which wasn't great, I have to admit. Not, not great. Ooh, settings. What could they possibly have for settings? Vibration settings. Oh. Okay. Sure. Ooh, wait a minute. What, let's check out and see if they have dual voice acting. Wait, no. <laughs> you can turn off the voice acting for individual characters? What is this about? That is so weird. Alright, let's get started in this. Uh, I know little about this game. I know that it came out early. It was supposed to come out on Tuesday. It is Friday when I'm filming this, and it is out. And it is time for some encounters, apparently, in Chapter 1. Let's cross our fingers and hope there's some decent voice acting. Oh, no. This doesn't look good. That looks like a bad thing's happening. Hope everything... Oh. These are pretty good graphics. All white. Uh, oh, no. There's no voice acting again. Okay. We're going to read this game out loud. And, of course, I have a three-second delay. So, yes, I'll be reading ahead of what you can read. Where am I? Said the question marks. Ooh. Book. Book. Who am I? It's no use. I can't remember anything. I'm Toya? That's right. My name is Toya Kagari. Titi. Is that... Is that my mother's voice? Protect. I'm sure that makes a little bit more sense in uh, the, the original Japanese. Whoa, hey, hi, Arx. System works. How you doing there? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm really liking this. Yeah. Oh, that's that's bad. You don't want that to happen. Oh. Now there's murders? That ain't good. Just zooms out of breath. Great. What kind of game is this? Wow. Whose scenario? Despair. Uh, is that Velma from Scooby Doo? Be myself. Okay. You you be yourself. All right. I'm loving this music, man. It's awesome. Ah, doesn't look like they're getting along. That is a hell of a lot better than the intro I got off of my last visual novel. I will say that much. That had production and everything. I'm a, I'm a little impressed. Let's see if we can maintain that as we get further into the story of x Blaze Code Embryo. Like I said, I don't know much about Blaze Blue. Hmm. Oh. A dream. I guess I fell asleep. Huh? It sounds like someone's humming. Someone is humming. Oh, it's Velma. Hinata. Hinata. Good morning, Toya. 
Good morning, um, Hinata. Hinata. <laughs> you guys are so mad because I'm talking over the original Japanese voice acting, but really, it's uh, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, that's right, it's already past four. I guess good afternoon would be more appropriate, huh? Well, that wasn't exactly my point. Wait a second, did you say four? Uh, Jesus, dude, what do you mean? Crap, you're right, look at the time. I guess Akira is running late. Toya, you have work today, right? Yeah. If you want to leave, I can wait for Akira by myself. Thanks for the offer, but he's supposed to give me something. It's gonna be drugs. That's not drugs. But really, you don't have to wait around for us, Hinata. I feel kind of guilty for making you hang out here for this long. Wow. You can really see how they condense language in Japanese, where it took like a whole sentence to say that. Um, let's see how often he blinks. Blink. He did just blink, didn't he? Why, it's fine, I'm actually... It's actually kind of fun. Well, that wasn't my point. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad you see you're enjoying yourself. Oh, the guitar just vibrated. Ah, a new alert from Toy. Let's see here. Mm, boy. Yeah, sure. Toy tutorial. Toy tutorial. <laughs> Ooh, look! A little Fez type 8 bit character. Well, more like 16 bit. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to the cutting edge of information gathering technology. You look puzzled. Ha ha ha! Don't worry. Using it as a breeze. It's spelled T-O-I, but it's read as toy. Yeah, I figured that out, asshole. Yeah, I and Y. Vowels, huh? <laughs> as in, it's as easy to use as a toy. My, doesn't that sound like fun? So let me share with you the joys of toy. <laughs> mm, maybe you want to look up something something up, but are too lazy to search for it. Does that sound like you? It does, doesn't it? Well, that's where toy comes in. While you're sleeping, eating, or trying to learn corner combos, what, from Blaze Blue? Is there actually fighting in this game? Toy will aggregate information about things you're interested in. Amazing, don't you think? From now on, Toy will deliver to you all kinds of useful information. Open articles immediately, or just outright ignore them if they don't tickle your fancy. It's great in that you can use it. It's great in that you can use it however you want. I mean, this app is made especially for you. No, really, it was totally just for you. Oh, that's. <laughs> Oh, but there is one tiny piece of piece of important information that you must know. Depending on which articles you read or don't read, the course of the story, or even its very outcome, can change. Okay. Oh ho! It seems that Toy has already started gathering information just for you. Ha ha ha! Isn't that awesome? It is, isn't it? Hey, by the way, this music, awesome. Liking it. Too long, didn't read. Choosing to read or not read an article has a very real effect to the story. On the story, I would say to the story. Uh, hopefully you understand that. Well enough lecturing. Well enough lecturing. Try toy out for yourself. Okay. Let's just read all the articles. Why wouldn't I? The Shin Yoko Yokozaki... The Kozaki killings, a suspect, in regards to the rash number of killings plaguing the city, a number of eyewitnesses report seeing someone standing over the latest victim's body. As the victim estimates estimated time of death corresponds to the sighting of the suspect, police are aggressively pursuing this new possible lead. Read by uh, me, I guess. One Mr. Nushud Dizu. Oh crap! I live right next to this. Oh, it's got like its own little um, like its own little message board and comments. Whoa, this has to be kind of unnerving. Uh, it's obvious this guy's a serial killer. No one would use proper punctuation. Come on. It has to be the death god. Okay, I guess this is like the internet after all. They have an eyewitness, but still can't catch him? Question mark explanation point? Good. Good response. That's interesting. It is interesting that there are murders going on. Well, let's just keep reading. Redevelopment of the Wada... T Wada Tsushimi... Stalls? Wada... What does Toe see me? 
Today, on the 10th anniversary of the Watasumi incident, Watasumi incident, after a survey of the area, development activity related to the site was suspended due to supposed condemnation of the environment, contamination of the environment. Despite the passing of a decade, the ruins have yet to be demolished or rebuilt in any way. Let's read the comments, which by the way, welcome to YouTube. Don't read the comments, but please leave a comment down below. Or if you're watching this on Games Under Pressure, please leave a comment. So, no resolution yet. Huh. Kind of like the Xbox One, huh? <laughs> okay. No one knows why everyone disappeared. Just how big are the ruins? I think they covered two kilometers or so. If they ever clean that mess up, it'd be a great location for a mall. I don't know. That just seems like you're building another mess. Health issues related to Watasumi. 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 In regards to purported health issues related to Watasumi incident, the committee formed by the government to investigate the allegations have concluded that none of the reported illnesses can be connected to the incident or its aftermath. Seriously? <laughs> nice to know there's nothing to worry about. My friend gets sick every time he passes that place. It's like me and Arby's. Hey, ooh, I got a million of them. They said that they said they investigated thoroughly. Bullshit. That place is a plague factory. Here's the thing. You're seeing everyone leave one comment. There's always that one guy that just starts responding to everybody. You know what I'm talking about, so... I don't know. Interesting. Interesting. Um... Character report? Okay, let's learn more about, uh, what's her name again? Hinata. Himizuru. She's 16. A female. 155 kilometers. Ooh. That's a short girl. <laughs> 50 kilograms. Uh, May 8th. She likes cooking. She likes sweets. Especially cream puffs. She hates violence. Ghost thunder. <laughs> <laughs> so if there was a, a violent ghost while there was a thunderstorm, shit, she would want to get out of there. The younger sister of the Himizuru family, of which Toya is unofficially a member... Oh, I'm learning more about the main character. Incredibly friendly and cheerful, she always looks like she's enjoying life. She is the de facto head of the household, as her older sister, Yuki, who is a doctor, is always in a runoff sentence. I'm sorry, is always at work. However, she truly enjoys housework, especially cooking. Okay. Great. What about my profile? What can I learn about my character? Toya Kagari. Male. 16. 173 centimeters. Now there's a tall boy and 59 kilograms. Ooh, he's been eating. Uh, July 20th. He enjoys walks, current events, and bonsai. Okay. Uh, likes harmony. Hates violence. So, you know, he has a, he has a lot in common with uh, Hidiata. Uh... Uh, Haku North Academy. In addition to being naturally curious, he's also incredibly kind, compassionate, and compassionate. Despite his calm demeanor, he will charge headlong into any fights he sees in order to stop them. Toya currently lives with the Himizuru family and works part-time at the curry restaurant Maharaja. Mmm, sounds delicious. Back to the plot. Sorry I'm late. Damn, that teacher just wouldn't shut the hell up. I swear the guy must hate me or something. You know what? I just picked that voice because of the haircut. I know how these uh, anime translations work. And I would be like, his too gruff. <laughs> Sounds rough. Nah, not really. It was definitely something though. Anyway, here's the data stick you let me borrow. Data stick? Cloud compute, goddamn you. Thanks. So what did you think? Bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, I wonder what it's all about. They vaguely spoke. What are you two talking about? Said Hinata, who is obviously the avatar of the audience at this point. You've heard about the serial killer that's on the loose, right? Koya put up a summary of all the news reports for me. Oh yeah, so it's around here. That's scary. I know what you mean. That's why it stuck with me, so I've been saying, saving every article I could find since the story broke. I said that very eloquently. Is that so? Wow, Koya, you must really like reading the news. Actually, he does like current events. I just read about that in his little uh, toy article. Well, it's not like I enjoy reading about stuff like this. Like I said before, something about just stuck with me. Hmm. So what kind of things are happening? Well, the bodies they are found were dismembered, and even though there were no signs of fire, they all look burnt. Cool. That's... what? Oh my god. 
Oh, poor Hineata. She hates violence and ghosts. Do you think there'll be ghosts and thunder and violence in this? Poor Hineata. What will you do? Wait a minute, it's his toy, it's saying toy event right now. How do I bring up the toy thing? Excess toy, let's do this real quick. In one story, a witness claimed that he saw a man with white hair and dressed in black standing next to one of the bodies. Oh, you can't just switch into toy whenever you want. I thought you could, because, you know, square button, by the way. What? Oi. No way! Masaka. They saw the Grim Reaper or something. Yeah. Toy, huh? I'm the boy myself now, you know? Keep it up with these stories, and I'll be too paranoid to go to the bathroom at night. <laughs> just, you know, just carry a jug around. Here and jug. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Serial killer and all, okay? That's right. I'm sure you'll be fine, Akira. You think so? Well, you're pretty much always right, Hinata. So I guess I can relax a little. Hey, what are you reading about now? Huh? Just catching up on breaking news. Oh, really? Why don't you show me your big, your big brother? Oh, okay. Uh, 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 okay, I guess they're related or adopted or whatever. What you're reading? Wait a second. Yep. You can just quick save whenever you want by tapping L3 and let's see if we can quick load. Quick load. There you go. Why did you buy this thing? It's freaking ancient. I'll give you one of mine later. Hold on. Ten years on, redevelopment of Wada Watasumi is still limbo. More of his issues connected to the Watasumi incident. Sigh, said Toya. Damn it, Toya. Not this again. No, I mean, it was Toya that grabbed these articles, right? Huh? What are you two going on about now? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Just take this thing back already. Sorry. Come on, Toy. Only gathers information about things you're interested in, right? I don't mean to brag or anything, but my toy only shows me stuff about games and comics. Me, me and Akira would get along very, very well. Me and Akira should share a toy. Oh, crap. I need to get going. I'm really sorry, Akira. Don't worry about it. But seriously, stop obsessing over the past, okay? I'm just adding voices left and right. Yeah... I'll keep that in mind. Alright, we should all get going. And so they do. It'd be crazy if it just turned into a fighting game right now and be like, Whoa, I didn't see this coming! Suspicious man. Damn it, where did you go? Oh, hey, I found a wallet. Hmm, no, it's not it either. Ah, there it is. Man, I was starting to get worried for a sec. I knew you'd have one on you. Oh, damn! It isn't near, but it isn't nearly blue enough. Sorry, just messing with you. Portal? Portal? I'd like to take this time to thank you for your generous contribution. Well, that doesn't look good. He's got an eye patch. I don't trust this suspicious man. Not one bit. Gulp. Oh, oh, that's bad. Whatever happened to his eye? Oh, and his hands, that ain't good. Wow, that was delicious. Man, I was expecting some kind of you leveled up chime or something. What a gimp. Gimp. Gimp? <laughs> uh, gimp. I like this so far, guys. You like that I'm reading everything out loud? I can't help it. It's a video. What am I doing? I'm not even playing the game, so... Oh. Well, I'm off to work, Shinita. I'm pretty sure I'll be working late, so you just go ahead and eat dinner without me. Okay, I'll be sure to wait for you when you get home. Wait for you to get home. Were you even listening to me? I said, go ahead and eat without me. But food always tastes better when you eat it with others. Oh, Shinita. She likes friendship, too. Be sure to hurry home, darling Toya. Okay. Man, give me a break. Ha ha ha! Well, off to work with you. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Try not to be too late, okay? Hey, Hinata. Yes? Toya is still, you know. You know what? 
I mean, he's working so that he can pay rent at your place, right? Yeah, he keeps saying that he doesn't want to be a burden on me or my sister. Koya is kind of weird like that. I thought so. Yuki's the only one of you that works... Only one of you three who works granted. She is a doctor, but I can see him feeling guilty. But my sister thinks of him as a little brother. In fact, when she left the orphanage, we promised that we'd become a family. There's your backstory. He needs to creep me out from that angle. The day Yuki left, that's like years ago, right? Oh. What in the hell is Toya thinking? But Toya says he really enjoys his job. I guess he thinks one of his co-workers is really interested, so he can't be all that bad. Is that a fact? Maybe I should swing by and bother him sometime. Giggle. But on the days he does work, he comes home really late, which makes you worry about him a little. I wonder if he'll run into that serial killer. Ah, it's five already. Oh no, the afternoon sales are about to end. Wow, afternoon sales. Interesting. Sorry, Kira, but I have to go to the market now. Sorry to keep you for so long. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> Kenya says pretty cool. I wish I had collars like that. Jeez, Toya, stop making Hinata to worry about you so much. Haven't you gotten through your head the whole Watatsumi thing wasn't your fault? How was that? That was kind of dramatic. You know, I'm just... Um... I'm just working on um, my characters right now. They all sound like me and talk like me. Uh, if I don't hurry, I'll be late. White-haired man. Uh oh Toya Kagari. The white-haired man. Oh my god. He's wearing all black. This isn't good. Oh, it's from Hinata. Ground beef was super cheap today, so we'll be having hamburger steaks for dinner. Hamburger steaks? Hamburger steaks? Huh? Can't wait. I guess that was more ha huh, instead of huh? Mm. Hmm. What was that? I thought I saw... Weird. I, I swear I saw something. I guess I was wrong. Warning. Keep out. Okay. Oh, crap. I'm seriously late. This large-breasted female is probably important. Is that a sword? What is that? What is that? I'm gonna drink some water. Fucking reading all this stuff out. <laughs> Thank you for coming again, said Toya. Oi, part timer. That last customer's manners weren't too shabby. Ringo? Wow, Ringo's changed. You know, doing pretty good for in his 70s. The manager says, Kagari, hurry up and clean that table. Okay, said Toya. Hey, part tamer. Hold up a second. Stop pestering me, Ringo. I'm trying to get everything to put away. I don't have time for your files right now. Spiels? Spiels. <laughs> like I said, hold up for a second, part timer. Listen well and pay heed. Seriously, give it a rest right now. At this rate, I won't be able to get anything done. I don't know if that's quite accurate, Toya. You can still get things done if someone's talking to you. Also, I know with the part-timer thing, I do have a name. It's Toya Kagari. Could you at least try to remember? <laughs> yeah, no, right? Hey, no need to be so rude. And I know full well what your name is, part-timer. <laughs> okay, then why is it so hard for you to call me by, call me by it? Before I answer that question, part-timer, I want you to take a good, long look at that place. Okay, okay. I looked at it. It needs to be watched. What's your point? Don't you get it? Yeah, what? The way he put his spoon down, the traces of the pickles, and the amount of water he left in the cup. You still don't get it? Uh, not at all. Ah, see? That's why you're still a part-timer. Hey, how many times do I have to tell you? My name's Toya Kagai. 
Now, concentrate this time. Notice the angle of the spoon's placement in contrast to the plate after you finish eating. Spoon? Angle placement? He boldly challenged the curry. He boldly challenged the curry. After his victory, he placed the spoon thus to show respect for his vanquished foe. It looks like it was randomly placed, but don't you think the angle placement is filled with so much time? Uh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. Me and you both, Toy. Me and you. Stuck in this crazy restaurant business dealing with Ringo. If you examine closer, you'll see the remnants of pickles opposed to where the curry was placed. So, what do the traces of those possibly delicious pickles mean to you, part-timer? Your answer, please. That was a bad reading. Uh, um, what? For love of all that is holy. Look at it. Don't you see that they're completely separated from the traces of the curry? Man, that was a huge hint. I gave away the whole thing, didn't I? Uh, so? To put it in simple terms, he wasn't some neophyte? Neophyte? Neo neophyte? Putting, I don't know that word, putting curry directly onto the rice. He scooped up a spoonful of rice in a single defiant movement. Then he used a high-level technique to mix it with the curry. What? It wasn't the curry dumped onto the rice, but the rice that was incorporated into the curry. That is true. If you do that, it is much spicier. You can't lose the flavor. Whereas uh, the rice is a, a palate cleanser. A la Thai food, you know. Therefore, the pickle is never mixed in with the curry until the very end. Letting you enjoy the flavor to the full. I knew none of this was going to make any sense. I knew none of this was going to make any sense. But wait, ah, cool thing. Despite this display of etiquette and skill, he ultimately failed in the most despicable way. He was close, oh, so very close. But in the end, it was the water that defeated him. Uh, can we just take the plate? Behold! The 15 cc's of CA2 left behind in the cup. It'd have to have been better if he gulped it down. Yeah, that's it. It's a shame. A goddamn shame, I tell you. He bent the curry to his will, but was crushed by the water. He had just found it within himself to take that one last swallow of refreshing water. Akiga, we really need to get those dishes cleared away. Hey, Kigari, are you okay? You don't look so hard. Oh, that's right. My bad. Um, I guess water, if you drink water after you eat something spicy, it actually intensifies the, uh, warm. I gotta work later than usual. I bet Hinata's waiting for me to get home before eating, like always. I better hurry. Was that a bell? Again? What's going on? Why do I have this sudden urge to track that ringing down? Just your protagonist, dude, get used to it. They did mention he was curious in his little thing. Is it coming from here? Huh. There's a hole here. By the way, can we just stop for a second? The music is still very, very nice. This is, um, very well done music. What's going on here? It looks like something exploded here. It's just big enough for me to jump into. It looks like this hole is just made. That sound... It's not going away. <sighs> Instead of reading sigh, I just went. <sighs> that's that's what I do as an as a animal voice actor, apparently. I probably, wander, I probably shouldn't just wander around in here like this, but it should be okay, maybe. What's that sound? It was much clearer this time. <laughs> Who's there? Front? Whoever it is, they're really close. What's that? Hant. Hant groan. Hey, are you alright? Huh? What did you say? Stay away from... What? What do you mean, stay away? You're obviously hurt. Let me call an ambulance for you. Wait, that sound. Is he the source of... I knew it. I knew that sound was coming from around here, but why? I... That man's not doing well. 
Are you, are you all right? Enemy. Uh-oh. What's going on? A enemy? Wait, what the? Ooh. Are you an enemy? Why, 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 why? Grunt. Wait. Huh? Whoa. What the? An explosion! Crap! What in the heck? He blew that wall into pieces. Wait, blew up? Is this how... Crap! Pant, pant, pant. What? What's going on? I need to get the hell out of here. I have to escape somehow. Wait. No way. Ow. Whimper. My legs. I, I can't stand. Stop. Uh-oh. Whoa! Okay, maybe you didn't want it to sound like that. Okay. Okay. Story's already better than that last one. Like, there's no filler. It's just like... It's getting around. I mean, the whole curry thing was at least interesting. Ooh, this is interesting. It's that large-breasted woman to the rescue with her large sword. And anime schoolgirl skirt. Huh? A girl? <laughs> Target identified as Union. Unable to determine crystal color. Verifying ether levels. Determined to be phase 4. Cough, cough. Wait, what's going on? Hey, hey you, be careful. Oh man, it's like some apex twins just kicked in. Hey, wait a minute. Grunt, grunt, ah! Wait, wait a minute! Stop! If you don't stop now, you're going to kill him! Please, you have to! Obstruction detected. Initiating countermeasures. Uh, wait a minute! Whoa! Doesn't look like all went well for Toya. Please don't. I don't want to see anyone get hurt. This is totally like a character from Blaze Blue, isn't it? And I'm just not, I don't get it. Suspending combat operation. Target functionally, functionally has ceased. Verifying Iris collection. Target identified as Screaming Joe. Screaming <laughs> Joe. Yes. Hi. Communication within the restricted area is currently severely limited. Roger. We'll deliver the target to the recovery team immediately. No. The discovery call of said individual remains unverified. Roger. Confirming change of mission perimeters. We'll head to new destination after checking the agency's data. <laughs> I'm home. Man, my head hurts. What was that all about? <laughs> Man, maybe I should have gone to the cops. On the other hand, what the heck could I have told them? Anyway, everyone disappeared before I knew it. Welcome back, Toya. You're back from work awfully late today. Jesus, is every girl have like a detail? What is going on here? A guest has been waiting over an hour for you, Toya. That doesn't matter, Hineta. I have to tell you what just happened to you. Wait, what? There's someone here to see me? That's right. This late? Ah, Toya, your clothes are a mess. Grab and go change. You don't want to keep your guest waiting any longer. Ouch! Hineta, don't push me. I'm getting into character, right? <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. 
I'm really sorry you had to wait this long. Toya had to change, so it'll be just a little longer. Kinyata, listen, you won't believe it, but some weirdo attacked me. That's why my clothes got dirty, and a girl kicked me. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, you tripped and fell again, right? I'm not going to get mad at you, so don't worry. Hey, don't yeah, yeah me right now. Okay, I get it, but you shouldn't keep your guests waiting much longer. If anyone was going to show up this late to see me, it better be a key. Ah, <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh no, shit's going down. Hello. What are you doing here? Give me a tell. Watch out. This is the girl I was talking about. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you listening? She's the one that saved me from the weirdo and then kicked. Uh, what are you? Is that so? Well, thank you so much for coming to Toya's rescue. Well, that's true as far as it goes, but not really. She pulverized the man who attacked me and then... The union that attacked Toya Kagari has been taken into custody. Uni? Custody? Yes. Once I verified the target had been incapacitated, I notified the Mitsuri... Mitsuguri Agency to deploy a recovery team. Mitsuguri? Recovery team? Just who are you? If you're referring to my individual nomenclature, I am called S. Wow, they, uh... They're really putting my thesaurus to work. S? Oh, so it's Miss S then. What an interesting name. Miss? Interesting name? Further explanation required. Huh? Explanation? Well, um... Ah, another visitor? Kanyata, I'll deal with her for now. Eh? Okay. Alright, hold your horses, I'm coming. So far, this is actually pretty interesting. I'm kind of liking this. What are you doing here? Fulfilling my mission. Mission? Yes. Until further notification, I am to monitor Toyo Kagari and in emergency situations, I am to prevent threats to his safety. Monitor? Possible threats? What in the... What does any of that mean? If it is within acceptable perimeters, I will answer whatever query you wish to make. Well, wait a minute, I don't even know what's going on! Could you then refrain from asking any questions until you have thought in order? Like I said, I have no idea what's going on. Just, just go home already. I cannot do that. Why not? Your request in direct conflict with my orders. what will it take for you to go away? Until the mission objectives have been achieved, I am to monitor Toya Kan. You said that already. If you have no further questions, I will continue on with my mission. No further... Hey, I haven't asked you anything yet. Then please, ask away whatever questions you feel are necessary. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start. How about you? What do you do exactly? I am assigned to the self you know, the Mitsuguri Agency Special Operations Force. Wait a second, you're a soldier? Why the heck are you wearing such a cute, frilly dress? If you wish to learn more about my current uniform, I recommend that you contact my superior. S superior? The only thing superior about your boss is his taste in clothes. No. Why in the heck should I believe anything you say? Do you forget what occurred in the restricted ward? My primary duty is to find and apprehend all Union targets. You apprehend? In the restricted ward? The man who attacked me? Yes. The individual detained earlier was identified as Screaming Joe. Screaming? What? Real name. Goro Juzumi. Male. 28 years old. Member of the government bureaucracy. Visited a dermatologist two, dermatologist two months ago. Executed a drive attack against his physician and disappeared. Was classified union by the agency soon after. Oh, the di drive attacks, like in Blaze Blue. Did did that man have any connection to the recent spat of murders? In regards to those incidents, we are only gathering information, but all signs point to them being union related. So, what is this union thing you keep bringing up? The term union is used to identify those who have the ability to perform what is known as a drive. What? The victims develop a growth called a crystal, which slowly corrupts the host's mind, causing them to become aggressive. What? Wait a second. The infected become increasingly irrational and dangerous, inflicting their thrive indiscriminately on friend or foe. The infection progresses through different stages, identified as phase 1 to phase 6. Okay, that's enough! No more! Seriously, just give me a break, okay? I have no idea what you're talking about. 
Oh, forget it. I can't even begin to make any sense of this. Please, calm down. How am I supposed to stay calm about any of this? I wonder what Hinata is up to. She's been gone for a while now. I'm getting into character, okay? She's all robotic, I get it. Sorry for interrupting your conversation, but someone else just showed up at the door asking for you, and... What? Again? For me? Yep. He's in the front door right now. He said he was some kind of agency. And of course, I just realized that we're all out of tea. I'm not sure what to do about... My, my. What a truly marvelous abode. Hmm. Okay. Guess I have another character to do. I'm sorry to make you wait. Oh, since you mentioned it, I could really use a cup of tea right now. I'm thirsty. Oh, so very thirsty. I'm just doing the voice of the Pushmo King for the last first hour. <laughs> um, I don't mean to be rude or demanding, but do you think you could fetch me a refreshing cup of Earl Grey? Sure. I'll have to take a quick trip to the store, but I'll be back in a jiffy. Toya, please take care of our guests. Well, that worked out brilliantly, if I do say so myself. What I have to say isn't for the ears of civilians. Oi, oi, you know what to expect here. So if you dial it down a little, God, you're a jerk. Eh, that's hardly fair. <laughs> I'm really doing a bunch of anime voices today, this is interesting. Wow. What's hardly fair? Don't be play innocent. You used me as a decoy when we first arrived here. What? What in the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, please. You forced me to introduce myself in your place. Well, one of us needed to do it. On contraire, I'm here as a representative of the agency. However, nay, you're here on behalf of the Ama... <laughs> what is that? Ama Hoko... Saka... Ama Homo... <laughs> <laughs> Amano Hoko Sake family. Amano Hoko Sake family. So don't you think it'd be more appropriate for us to introduce ourselves separately? What? Considering how my family and the agency are connected, me saying anything would make things more confusing. Eh? Well, I guess you have a point, maybe, but still. Was this, sort of, is, was this how you thought things would do? Go? I can't read it because the cameras are putting that word. Is this how you thought things would do? You son of a... Anyway, why in the hell did I waste my time coming out here? Because you kept bugging me about it until I came in. Excuse me, when exactly did this bugging occur? What day, hour, minute, or second? At what point in this Earth's orbit did... Uh, excuse me. My, oh my, I must apologize for a sudden outburst of rudeness. Toya Kagari. And, and you are... Oh, that's right. Once again, my apologies. This is who I am. Allow me to give you my business card. Goken Agency? Shin Yokozaki Branch? Head of Sector 7 Research? Sorochiro Unomaru? Ah, perhaps I should introduce myself better. I'm actually the Mitsurugi Agency. I'm actually from the Mitsurugi Agency. And my name is Sochiro Yuromaru. And despite my fabulous appearance, I am in fact the head of the research section. And no, I never planned on being the boss. It was totally coincidental. The agency happened to be impressed with my thesis. My, it sure was some good luck on my part. I like doing this voice. This is the voice I like doing. Wait, it's Mitsurugi. 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 That means you're her... Oh, I am almost ah, forgot about E, so S. you've managed to make it here first, and that's my girl. I knew it. So you're this girl, I mean, your S's boss. Yes, that would be me. Why do, Why do I ask? Don't give me that, can you please just take her home now? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do that just yet. Why not? Do you realize how suspicious it looks the three of you showing up here so late? Just go away already. Well, well, well. please be patient a little longer, okay? Once we've taken the appropriate measures, we'll be off. And what the hell do you mean by appropriate measures? And what about Ace saying she has to keep watch? Now, now, there's no panic. That's more things going. 
I have yet to detect any instances of the discovery call being surrounded. Oh, really? That's unexpected. But I guess we should do a quick full body examination just to be safe. Go ahead, S. Wait, what? Body examination? Roger. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, what? What in the. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Stop! Please, relax and stand still. What are you grabbing my. I said, stop! <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting first hour. Alright, thanks for that. So, nothing out of the ordinary then. What, what was that all about? Come now, wasn't that wonderful news? No, it's not. Explain yourself. Why should I have to put up with all this? And, and why, do you keep, why are you keeping me under surveillance? In case you forgot, I was the one who was attacked. Ah, that is true, isn't it? Perhaps monitor is a bit too strong of a word. But it's better to be safe than sorry, right? And with that in mind, I sent S to help you, which, as it turned out, was the course of wisdom. Was the course of wisdom? Seriously, I'm glad that my quick wit and ability to make a snap decision helped. And of course, I'm happy to see you're safe. Be better safe than sent out to help. I mean, you see it, right? Yes, of course you do. Let's say that you did something to you. It had been pretty bad. Huh? What do you mean by, by something? You're not making any sense. I'm talking about the creature that attacked you. What if it returns to do something to you? So you're saying that Union thingy might attack me again? And you sent S here? And not to monitor... See? You do understand! See? So despite escaping tonight, I might still be in danger? Well, I certainly won't lie to you by saying the possibility doesn't exist. Why in the hell do you sound so happy about it? I'd better call the police and meet. Yes, I totally see why you think that it... I understand completely. So why shouldn't I? My apologies, but we are here because the local authorities are incapable of dealing with this situation. Be honest. What you experienced earlier more than a little bizarre. You do have a point. Every time that thing screamed, something in the area exploded. <laughs> that was kind of bizarre, wasn't it? Right! Anyway, the Mitsurugi Agency is a very large organization dedicated to handling special cases such as yours. The police are ill prepared for things like this. For example, to ensure your safety, you'll need a trained warrior like me. So I trust you now appreciate the rather complicated predicament we find ourselves in. I understand that nothing about what happened to me is normal, but th that doesn't. Uh, huh? Oh, how unspeakable. How unspeakably rude. This is the heir apparent of the Amanahoko-sana clan. She's been a great help to the agency. Nice to meet you, I guess. Even though all of this went down without a warning, my apologies for barging in on you so late. And, yeah, it's just that I still have no idea how I got dragged into this situation. Hmm. What now? What is it? Quiet, you. What? S sorry. May is very commanding and self-confident, despite her looking like your average fit. Hey, leave my age out of this. But of course, let's cover your three sizes then. First, her bust measurement is... That's off limit too. And how in the hell do you know all that anyway? I know, every oopsie, I mean, I was just kidding, seriously, it was just a joke, okay, just a little joke. Maybe I should just narrate the whole damn game, do every episode, every... Uh, so, Mr. Yuromaru, you know Maru, Miss May, Miss S, there's no need to append honorifics to my name, S is adequate, so it must be like... San or whatever, S San or something in Japan. Okay, fine. S. Getting back on topic, these measures you have to take. Once you finish, you all go home, right? Ah, I almost forgot. Well, be done and with that in just a jiffy. I just need to give you. I just need you to give me your hand. Uh, why? Just trust me. 
Whoa, hey. Ah, this might sting a little, but I expect you to be brave. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. You hardly felt a thing, right? No, that hurt. A lot. What the hell are... My dear Kagari, were you attacked by that union? Did you happen to hear a bell, like, chiming sound? A, a, a bell? You did, didn't you? Yes. Very well. The test results should be ready by tomorrow. Wait, what? what? I, you think I have this unit? Think of it as a preventable measure. Really, you shouldn't worry about it. I'm back! So, what are you talking about? I don't have a voice for her anymore. What are you talking about for so long? I made tea for everyone. And then they had tea. I assume. I don't know. This isn't good. No need to be so gloomy. Now, I'll just have S stay behind and look after you until we get your final results. What? She's staying here? Please, just take her with you. Now, now, as I told you before, it's just a simple precaution. If your test results come back negative, I will return to collect your S post taste. Really, it's not a big deal. Actually, it's a really big deal. I just rent a room here. The house belongs to Hinata and her sister Yuki. Wow, you're an anal retentive jerk. No, I'm not. And how can you leave a little girl like her with a total stranger? Oh my, Kadaguri, do you realize what you have, you have absolutely nothing to worry about? What? Well, it's not that. I understand completely, Kadaguri, but fret not. Huh? Have you forgotten already? This is powerful! Especially so. So relax! How do you expect me to relax for them looming over me? And, well, should something happen, I will come as quickly as possible. May, of course, will be by my side too, right? Uh, what? See? You don't feel... Don't you feel better already? Of course you do! Why should I? I just totally heard you say, um, what? That's pretty funny. Fear not. Everything will work out in the end. As I'm leaving him in your care now. Roger. Good night, Toya. Kagari. Again. Sorry about all this. Hey, wait. I think I'm doing okay. Awkward. Hey, so, since it's so late, let me call a taxi for you. You really should be heading home before. My apologies, but your suggestion contradicts my current mission's parameters. Uh, how am I supposed to get any sleep now? That's right, I need to make a bed ready for S. No, that's not what I meant. I do not require a bed at this time. Huh? Until test results are complete, I have an order to monitor Toya Kagori. There will be no time for, you, time for me to rest. Wait, so you're not going to sleep? Correct. You can sleep without worry. Like I said a hundred times already, how do you expect me not to worry? To not worry. I just think I, I'm writing this better. I just think I've got to, you know, it just reads better, maybe, the way they have it. <laughs> So, what's the verdict, May? It was very faint, but... Meaning? I sense the presence of the Azuri. Is that so? But the levels were so faint, I can hardly say anything for sure. No worries. What you said just now was more than enough word for it. I'm glad you came along, May. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, come on. Things are just starting to get interesting. There's always an enemy character that says that. What do you plan on doing about it? Well, that's classified information. I can't discuss it with outsiders. Huh. I guess the cooperation, cooperative relationship between you and my family is one of convenience. Mm. Oh yes, I forgot about that sometimes. I didn't want to cloud your judgment with our take on things, but here, dig it. Hmm. So this is what you've gotten out of Toya Kagari so far? I'm impressed. My assistants are very... My assessments are very thorough. What the hell? Yep. He's a Watsutomi survivor. So, are you interested now? Watsumi? Huh? Okay. Only six more minutes of me reading out loud. <laughs> It had to be around here. I mean, it's nice that there's a Caesar residue, but... 
well, it's as good as any place for things to happen as any say as any. It's a good place, to whatever. You understand. So, whoever used their abilities to do two, whoever used their abilities did so two hours ago, give or take. There's something different going on here. I guess I need to cast a wider net and see what turns out. More character voices. This is fun. They all just basically sound like me. Ooh, a Samsung TV! You can totally tell that Samsung. <laughs> I guess I fell asleep on the sofa. Yes. She's gone. Good morning, Toya! Uh, good morning, Hineata. Hey, Hineata. Where did she go? Oh, you mean S? She said something about her mission being complete and it was time to depart. Then she left. Is that so? Yep, I invited her to stay for breakfast, but she said no. It's kind of a bummer, but I guess she was too busy to stay. She, she left, then. Finally. Oh, one more thing. The Yum that Unomaru something or other called earlier, right after S took off. Unomaru? Let me see. He said something about your tests coming out fine, and that there's no need to worry. I see. So, I was fine. What kind of test was he talking about? Huh? Oh, the test. They just wanted to know if I got hurt or, or not from yesterday, but it's not like I'm fine, I guess. Is that so? I still don't really understand, but it sounds like good news. More or less. Well, that's good to know. Are you yawning already? That's the fourth time since we left the house. Uh, sorry. And why were you sleeping on the couch anyway? You do have a bed of your own. Uh, well, um, about that. Sorry about all this ease. Well, I'm going to head upstairs to bed now. Roger. And I apologize for making you sleep on the sofa tonight. That won't be a problem. Oh, okay. I'll just leave your blankets here then. Okay. Good night. Man, I feel guilty about all of this, but I'm not sure what else to do with her. The situation is what it is. Oh well, no use worrying about it now. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Huh? What? Why is it so warm right here? What the? Whatever it is, it's way too soft and squishy to be a hot water bottle. Oh my God! Ah, why? What are you doing here? Before I answer your question, I have an observation to say. What is it? You should not scream like that in the middle of the night. Doing so will only serve to annoy your neighbors. You have no right to say anything. And what are you doing in my bedroom? If you won't leave, then I'll go sleep on the couch. Sleep wherever you feel the most comfortable. I will follow you to your new location and continue my surveillance. What? You plan on following me everywhere? Just to keep an eye on me. That is correct. Oh, hold on a second. How about when I'm in the shower? Or using the bathroom? Of course, if you're worried about me leaking information of personal nature, do not worry. What? what do you mean, don't worry? How can I not worry when you're spying on me when I'm naked or taking... Oh, that's messed up. I will never release or share confidential information during the course of a mission. That's not my point. Actually, let's go back a second. You keep talking about missions and orders. You obey any command without question. Yes. That was fast. Then, then I'm going to ask something strange. But if and mean if Mr. Uniomaru orders you to sacrifice yourself, if it was an order, then yes. You can't be serious. Unable to comprehend the subject's current behavior. What the hell? That's my line! And stop calling me subject or target. My name's Toru. Understood, Toru. Um, so S. Yes. Don't you have any of your own thoughts or opinions about things? No. Again, with the fast answers! It was determining that any personal emotion or ideologies would interfere with my performance of my duties. I, I guess I understand that, but still. Toya, where will you be sleeping? Well, I don't think it'd be appropriate for the both of us to be sleeping together here. Um, 
Oh, so, I've got it. Living. Let's go to the living, living room. Room. Roger. Uh oh. We only got a minute left, guys. And that is what Toya uh, had go on. Let's quick save this. There you go, guys. That was your first hour of X Blade Code Embryo. I gotta be honest with you. I was expecting another lackluster. And I will say the last one of the Shinsengumi was a lackluster story. This is very typical Japan manga anime type scenario. Attractive girl, a uh, guy who's uh, nervous around being girls, yada yada yada, Tenchi Muyo, uh, Evangelion, whatever you want to spew out. All right? I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I'm surprised at how much I'm liking it. And um, we will see where we go from here. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, remember... You have to go. You really, you must go to gamesunderpressure.com. Your number one source for video game news, reviews, previews, videos, and of course, the Pressure Cast, our weekly video game podcast that posts every single Monday on iTunes and Stitcher, and of course, of course, at gamesunderpressure.com, which you can rate and subscribe us on Stitcher and iTunes. Please do so. Please rate this video. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my obnoxious readings, and uh, I will see you the next episode of the first hour, which will be a Japanese RPG on Tuesday. Whatever that Japanese RPG that's coming on the PlayStation 3, you'll see it. If you're watching this and it's over five days old, the video's already up. Go check it out. Okay? Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.